y'all. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV dot com. No mercy TV podcast. Y'all know what time it is. Uh, came here because I wanted to talk about something, man. Um, the evolution of just women today. You know, with this this social media age is kind of crazy. You know, and I'm I'm going off that. You know, just based off the patterns and, you know, the things I'm starting to see on social media and everything. And the 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 direction just that women are going to go in the future is like, it's almost confusing to an extent because it's just so much that's going on. And um, let me start by saying this, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, um, not like, gender bias or, you know, anything like that. You know, I just look at what I see. Um, I do believe in equality, you know, especially when it comes to, you know, like women can learn the same things that men can and uh, can do the same job. So, you know, if they can do the same jobs that men can, especially jobs that are more, uh, are more creative and mental based as opposed to, you know, labor base, then yeah, women definitely deserve the same pay because they can do the same exact work. Now, my thing is this, when it comes to labor, like stuff where you actually have to be physically inept, then yeah, I I think men and women, you know, would have different pay considering men would be able to do more work in most cases, you know, because physically we're stronger, you know, physically men and women are built different, you know, so jobs that have certain requirements as far as strength and everything, then yeah, I think it would be, you know, you're not going to see a lot of women out here lifting 400 pounds and 350 pounds and, you know, boxes and stuff like that. You, you got some women that's willing to, to do certain things like, you know, you got women that work construction and pretty much which they kind of do a lot of the same jobs um, that men do as far as like, getting behind a forklift, getting behind a, a, a bulldozer and things like that. So, you know, especially those type of jobs, I definitely feel like women can get paid like men are because, again, they're doing the same exact things that men are doing. You understand? But it's just, you know, when you talk about lifting and, you know, stuff like that, then, you know, different requirements. And, you know, women don't tend to really sign up for those jobs like that anyway. So, you know, um, but in, in definitely everything else, I do feel like, you know, women deserve, you know, equal pay and, you know, shit like that. But, um, the role of the female has changed, you know, even just with females having equality, you know, um, you, you get away from the traditional female that just stays home, cooks and cleans, take care, takes care of the babies. And it's just a man going out like, nah, now you have women who can work, get their own money and, you know, things of that nature. You know, you got even some women that are the breadwinners and the dudes who could be like the stay at home dad and everything, you know. Um, And in part, I feel like you have some women that still want to be stuck on the same traditional model of you know, the woman stays home, do all the, all the housework and, you know, not work and things of that nature, um, you know, you live like how you choose to, you understand? If you're a woman that's focused on that old traditional thing and you can find a man that's willing to support that, then cool. But, you know, don't be upset when you don't because, you know, men are acknowledging that, you know, they, they understand that women are equal and can do the same things that we do. So you got a lot of men that expect to come across a woman that's able to get it on her own. You understand? Um, that actually makes men have to be, have to step up to the plate a bit more because if a woman can make her own money, it's like, what is so unique about a man that, you know, that the woman would need you for? Like what special or unique do you bring to the table that a woman can't do for herself? You understand? Um, what I've noticed as of late is just 
the patterns of, you know, how women are moving in terms of just putting it out there. You understand? Just being willing to to take certain risks and stuff like that. And um, one of the things I'm I'm gonna use as an example, right? Uh, how they got this this OnlyFans thing. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, OnlyFans is a platform in which people put out content, and you basically pay a subscription to access that content. Now, it's been popularized by adult entertainment stars and stuff like that. You know, a lot of them post nudes and, and things of that nature on their videos. And, you know, you subscribe um, for a monthly fee and you pretty much get access to everything that they're putting up there. You know, um, it can also be used for like, like me as a blogger. If I want to make an OnlyFans page, which I never would, just because like, the the perception of what OnlyFans is like. Imagine me posting the OnlyFans link on my social media. Like people would fry me. Like, eh, what are you doing? You you selling news or something? Like you feel me? So, you know, um, that's not something I would do. But there are people that use it for other things aside from adult type content. Like you have people that do um cooking vlogs and you know certain tutorials and. Uh, stuff like that. You have bloggers on there. You understand? Uh, so you, you got a lot of different things on there that it has to offer, but, you know, it's been mostly popularized by, you know, adult entertainment artists who uh, can put out content without having a third party, such as, like, a, a bigger adult company like a Brazzers or a Pornhub or, you know, those type of sites, you know, getting into the cut of their money. Now, um, I've seen a pattern as of late, right? I've seen a pattern as of late concerning women who work jobs. <clears throat> they they have the, these instances where certain bills can't get paid, they broke, et cetera, et cetera. And they're transitioning to having these OnlyFans pages where they're posting and selling news and videos and stuff like that. Now, my thing is this. Like, I, I find the transition for that to be so weird. Like, and it might be new because I'm, I'm actually watching the process of a woman going from being this working, quote unquote, wholesome, whatever you want to call it, female, then she goes to to posting about her issues. She can't pay this bill, can't pay that bill, can't pay this, can't pay that. Complaining about being broke. Oh, I hate paying all these bills, blah, 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 blah. And... They don't just jump right out with the OnlyFans page, right? They'll make a post acting like they're joking around. Oh, uh, damn. He, 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 I should start an OnlyFans page, man. I need some extra money to make these bills come through, blah, blah, blah. And you think that they're joking around, like, I've literally seen this process happen. One, two. I'll say at least six times. Yes, there's at least six times I've seen the same process happen between women. Um, it, and it's the same process every time they're working, they're, they're being regular. They complain about being broke and having bills. They go to make the joke post about having the OnlyFans. Uh, maybe I should start selling news. Maybe I should start making porn out videos and stuff like this. And then, not too long after, they busting out with an OnlyFans link. Or 
premium snap link or, you know, stuff like that. And it's just like, damn, so just throw all morals out the window, huh? Like, you know, um, I don't look at them the same as, like, the chicks who really do this. You feel me? Like, the chicks who really made a sacrifice and said, yo, life ain't working out for me. I'm just going to be like an adult entertainment star or I'm just going to be a prostitute or whatever. Because those chicks understand that there's certain things that come with it. Like they understand that this is the life for them. Like they can't go back to anything else. They don't have nothing else to go back to. They don't plan on doing on to get back on their feet and then go work a job, you know, and even like some of the, some of the, the adult stars that did retire, like you have people like Jasmine Cashman, stuff like that, that I think she's like a pastor or something now. You understand? Like, and, and that's, even though that's, that's wild for that to even happen for you to go from being an adult entertainment star to you a pastor and you, that's crazy. That's crazy in itself, but it's a transition that can happen because, you know, it don't really take much. You don't need like a college degree or no kind of certification or no kind of real clean background to become a, a, a person of religion. You understand? So, you know, but a lot of these chicks nowadays, like y'all are already working regular jobs. You understand? As opposed to trying to figure it out and really continue to make like legit money or just hustle better and get a better job or something, y'all are resorting to pretty much selling y'all body to just, you know, make a couple of dollars. And what you got to understand is if you work for, let's say you work like a retail, let's say you work for like Target or something, you can't have posted a picture in your target uniform like two months ago you're still working there and then you got nudes online with your body exposed and stuff like that and people know that you work for this retail company then you get people able to to put your job in danger now you really effed now you like like you got your job which is already not getting you by you jump into the only fans thing to try to make ends meet and then it's like somebody uses that to ruin the real bread and butter you have. And it's like, what do you do after that? You understand? And one of the problems is, you know, a lot of these companies, when they look people up, they're, they're Googling your name. Like they're trying to figure out who you are, you know, who it is that they're letting work for their company. And it's possible that you will X yourself out of a lot of jobs if people look you up and see that you have, you know, all this graphic sexual stuff, you know, online. So, you know, um, it's, 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 it's crazy. Like it's, it's crazy to, to watch just that whole process of, you know, how women are moving. Like I said, I've seen this at least six times, like off top, there's six, at least six females that I could say I've seen on social media go from complaining about being broke, they're working regular normal jobs, not getting by, and then they're going to the premium snap to the OnlyFans and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, um, beyond your personal morals, you know, you don't throw yourself out the window, but what what does that say to the rest of the women out there? What does that say to the, the young girls out there? What does that say to y'all kids? Like, if y'all are just going to use this to get by for a little bit, like, don't let that endanger the future that you can possibly have, like the bright future that you can possibly have. Because it's like, if you're already a person that works, you, 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 who knows, probably done went to school and, and stuff like that. You plan on getting like a real career. 
this is something that can possibly put a, a, a roadblock in all of that. You understand what I'm saying? And it's it's not, that's not one of those things where you you step out and then you say, you, you, you step into it and then you say, oh, I'm going to leave this and go back to, nah, you know how, you know, when, when you watch, uh, when, when you see like a lot of documentaries on, you know, people from the streets and stuff like that, you sometimes tend to see how they just can't escape. Like whatever they did in their past, a lot of times it, it's going to follow them. And this is one of them things like you're going to do this and then one day when you have kids and they're old enough to look online and and certain things like that like the next generation of kids are going to be effed as far as like they they they're going to know technology like the back of their hand they're going to know how to research stuff they're going to know how to look people up you know you're going to have two kids in class that get into it one going to pull out the phone and and google the, the other kid mother name and yeah yeah, 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 my mother's this, but your mother got sex videos and stuff like that on. Like, it's going to be crazy for a lot of y'all. Like, y'all have no idea the stage that y'all are setting for the generation that comes after y'all. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, um, that that's just going to be one of them things that it's going to be like, yo, don't let because you broke and trying to chase a couple of dollars for the, the short term. Don't let that ruin what you're trying to do for long term. You understand what I'm saying? And, and that's just something, you know, I, like I said, I, I, I respect it. If you got to get it how you get it, then go on and get it however you can. But just understand, like, for, for that little bit of money, that little bit of fast paper, it's going to be a price that come with it. You understand? So... You know, um, like I said, man, the, the times is changing. You know, women, women are, are getting in better positions and, you know, things of that nature. But, you know, I just noticed that pattern of just, like, seeing women just for a few dollars. Like, just because they're trying to make ends meet, they're risking it all. Like, and they're endangering, you know, the, the stuff that they have that they already set a foundation for, like, Imagine you've been working a job for a certain amount of years. You used to your check coming in when it comes in and stuff like that. You know, you, you live in check to check. You could barely make ends meet, but then you going out on a limb to get this little bit of extra dollars. And when I say going out on a limb, like putting your private parts on the Internet is going out on a limb. That is a risk. Like that is not something that is just like. It's not a big deal. Like, that is a big deal. And it should be a big deal to women. You understand? I, I don't get why it's not. Like, I, I definitely understand the thing of, you know, everybody get pussy and everybody done seen and seen all this and stuff like that. But for a woman as an individual, like, me as a man, like, I would never, like, I've never sent a female a picture of my like, you understand? Like, I just don't do stuff like that. Like, that ain't, that ain't me. Like, that ain't the type of shit I, like, I don't, like, what? You understand? But, you know, um, I, I would think that women take stuff like that way more serious. And when I see that, you know, women are doing it just for a couple of dollars, like, the, 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 the OnlyFans and the premium snaps, like, what what they 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 prices be on some like oh four dollars a month five dollars a month like for one person to be able to see your private parts and everything you're gonna charge them like they only have to pay five dollars a month like that's that's little bread like that's that's not no real money you understand and it's even worse if you have a following because you have all these people that are going to have access to you and who knows what they're going to do with the information. You understand what I'm saying? Like when you got all these people that's, that's being abducted and these kidnappings that's going on and everything out there, like 
you don't know what information is being fed to what places. Like, man, listen. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, it's, it's just that. Like I say, that watching that whole transition for these chicks is just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. And it's, it's something that, huh, man. Y'all, y'all are setting a real bad template for, you know, the, the kids that's coming in the next generation, man. And, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Have y'all, have y'all seen this yourselves? I, I can't be the only one that have seen things like this happen. You understand? So let me know if y'all seen the same thing. Let me know what y'all thoughts on it. You know, let me know if y'all think it's good or bad. Just let me know y'all thoughts, man. And I'll holla at y'all in the comments. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV dot com. I'll holla at y'all soon. Check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Bye.